Hello there, friends. Today is January 1st, 1-1 of 2022. Uh, today is Odin Project Vlog Day 28. Happy New Year's, everybody. I hope that everybody uh, that party partied safe last night and is doing well today. Uh, so, we are at Foundations Project Landing Page. Uh, we I am 60% through completion of the Foundations course. Super excited about that. Moving right along, and we'll go through the read through the uh, foundations uh, project landing page here, and then I'll discuss with you my path forward, my plan. It says for this project, you'll be creating an entire web page from a design we'll provide for you. If you've been following along, you should have the skills you need to accomplish this, but it may not be easy. The design we're providing you comes in the form of two images. One is an image of the completed website and one has some details about some of the fonts and colors we've used. Do not be afraid to use Google or go back to previous lessons to look something up. Real life professional developers use Google constantly for things that they've been doing for years. At this point, it is not expected that you'll have to memorize anything. You'll have to have everything memorized, so don't worry about it. Additionally, there are a few small details that you may have not encountered in our lessons yet. This is by design. These details are minor and easily searched. Google example, Google CSS rounded corners. Get your project as close as you can to the design, but do not worry about getting pixel perfect. Don't get out your ruler and count your pixels to find the exact margins between the various sections. The point of this assignment is to create something from scratch and get the various elements in more or less the right position relative to the rest. It doesn't matter if you use margin 24 pixels when the design used 48 pixels. Finally, feel free to substitute your own content in this design, which I have. Uh, the images have some meaningless dummy content, but if you want to make up a business and personalize this page, feel free to do so. Insert actual images in the placeholders and feel free to play with the colors and fonts a bit. And then it talks about um, basically using these three websites as um, place placeholders, places to get images where you don't need um, legal approval. Uh, talks about being careful not using legal right copyrighted content unless you have the okay to do so and also to give proper cre credit in the readme file and the repo that you create uh, when you do uh, use stuff like that. And then it talks about setting up your project in GitHub. So we go out here to GitHub, and I've already created this, but you just go, uh, you would go to your, uh, let's see, you go out here to your main page, and you just go to up here. Um, no, it's not right. Where did I go? Sorry, guys. There we go. New. New repo. And just follow the steps that we had in the previous uh, exercise for the recipes, and that will get you there. Um, so anyway, you create that, and then you create basically the empty shell with the readme file, and then you end up with, I called it foundations-landing-page, and this is basically what you get with the readme file with the initial commit. That's all you have. And then this is all stuff that we'll go over here that I added already uh, for today's exercise. So how I did this? So real briefly, I'm I did not complete the whole project. It's a it's creating a whole site from scratch, uh, utilizing uh, HTML and, and all the CSS elements we've learned so far, and combining it into a project. So I've decided to break it down into steps, um, in sections, and so. Uh, one of the instructions, it uh, um, talks about doing that. So this is just warning you not to cheat and look at other students' solutions until you've gotten yours done. Um, um, looking, at, looking at solutions robs you of the chance to develop your problem-solving skills and research skills. Um, and then it says, once you complete your project, feel free to look at other people's solutions to see how they did it. Do not peek. Ask for help on the Discord server if you get stuck. So step one, it says download the design images and take a full look at what you're going to be creating. So <clears throat> we'll go through the steps real quick, and I'll just, then I'll briefly tell you how I'm handling it. 
The font that's being used is in the images is Roboto. Here, uh, hero text is a statement that appears at the top of the page. And there are there are many ways to tackle a project like this, and it can be overwhelming to look at a blank HTML document and not know where to start. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Our suggestion: take it one section at a time. Remember how we talked about that too, of um, breaking things down into chunks. The website you're creating has four main sections and a footer, so pick one and get pretty get into pretty good, get it into pretty good shape before moving on. Starting at the top is always a solid plan. And it says for the sections you're working on, begin by getting all the content onto the page before beginning to style it, and that's key. So basically, create your HTML framework before you do any CSS. In other words, like I just said do the HTML and then do the CSS. You'll probably have to go back to the HTML once you start styling, but bouncing back and forth from the beginning will end up making things take longer and may end up causing you more frustration. And I totally agree with that. Note, you don't need to use more than one style sheet. Using one CSS file is adequate for the project. Many of the elements on this page are very similar to things you saw in our Flexbox exercises. Feel free to go back to those if you need a refresher. Uh, do not worry about making your project look nice on a mobile device. We'll do that later. And when you're finished, don't forget to push it to GitHub. Um, and then it talks about viewing your project. Basically, after you're done, you can do what we did on the pro recipes project. Is you can push it to GitHub.io and make it web, web accessible for the world to see. And it um, goes through the couple steps to do that. And that's it as far as the explanation. So how I'm doing it is I'm going through sections. So here is... Um, sorry, let me flip through here. So where to go? Sorry, I'm all over the place here. Here's here's the um, here's the end result. This is kind of the framework. Of course, this is all dummy info and just placeholder stuff. But this is what it's gonna look like. So you got a you got your um, header section, your hero section, the next second se the second third fourth section, and then you got a footer at the bottom. So those are all the sections. <clears throat> And then here's kind of like their their hints, if you will, uh, for helping you with the styling. Uh, they're recommending using you know certain colors and um, some styling there to get you started on the different sections. And so, essentially, what I'm doing is I'm breaking down into sections. So today I worked on just the HTML framework for the header, which is this right here, and this website is awesome section right here. Um, I don't know if this is right or wrong with how, how I'm handling it, even though it's all the same background. How I'm handling it is I'm treating the header as its own section and this hero section as its own section, and then I put a wrapper around the whole thing since it's the same background color as, as you'll see here in a moment in the HTML. And then I stopped. No CSS added yet, so and we'll just I'll just break it up into chunks. So each video I'll do uh, like chunks of stuff. <clears throat> and then I'll do another video, chunks of stuff, and they'll just kind of work it through that until it's a fi complete project. So going into the editor, uh, here is what I made from scratch. You see, I created so I created the image folder. Um, you see me flip through a little bit ago and some some cropping and stuff. So I got a couple images off one of those uh, sites they recommended where you didn't need permission, and I downloaded a couple pictures for my site. I, my site is called JB Technologies. Here's the boilerplate file. And so here's how I broke it. And then here's the readme that came down from the repo. And then here's my style.css, which is right here, which is blank, which I will do on my next re up, uh, upload recording. So on this one here, I created a start off with a div class. I created a wrapper, called it. And again, I might change this stuff. But right now, this is how I'm thinking about it in my mind, as far as wrappers and CSS for future CSS. So I created a div class called uh, header-hero-wrapper. And you can see that that wraps down here. So that wraps in the header and the hero section. And I have a header section with my picture it's my and my alt text for JB Technologies logo. And then I got three, uh, ref, three hrefs, as you will note as you noted on the previous uh go ahead and rewind me if you want to see what the layout was but there was three links i called it about us services and get a quote and the question mark and href basically takes it nowhere i did that on purpose because i 
don't see anywhere in the project where you need to link pages. I might do that, but it, I don't think it's necessary. So what question mark does, it just links it back to itself. Basically, it creates a dead link. You click it, and it just adds an exclamation point, or a question mark, excuse me, at the end of the URL. Um, so, sorry if I said exclamation point multiple times. I meant question mark. So, I'm talking a little fast. I'll slow it down here. Um, I'm just wanting to make sure I, this video doesn't get super long, but there's not a lot going on in this right now. So, uh, and then this is these are an unordered list, and here's your, my list items, and there, there there's the links, and then that's all my header, and then I create a new div inside of the wrapper called hero, and that's the uh, section, if you will, the bottom third of the blue section, uh, which. We, so I got a H1 title called JB Technologies and a paragraph called Welcome to Our Company Site. We offer a wide variety of IT services to our clients. Again, this is fictitious. I just made this up. Um, I didn't want to go back and redo things with, you know, typing in their place marker info and then going back and touching it again just to put in my um, business info. So I just went ahead and did the business info up front. Um, less touch the better. So it says we offer a wide variety of IT services to our clients. Click the button below to be added to our mailing list. Thanks for checking us out. And then here's the button. It's it got its own class of sign up. Type button, alternate text for sign up button for screen readers. And the word text sign up is listed inside the button. And then there's an the image source for a man with a laptop. And then all alternate text man with laptop. And that is a class of its own called hero. And then that is, again, wrapped inside the bigger div of header hero wrap. And sorry, I just realized this is probably really small for you. So let me blow that up real quick. I'll give you a second to look at it. So again, just to reiterate, we've got a wrapper div here. And we've got a header div here with an uh, unordered list of my links in it. This is going to be uh, eventually when I CSS it, it will be right justified uh, so it matches what's in the in the uh, image file we looked at. Now right now there is no CSS as you can see uh, today was just HTML and in my next video I'll work on since I completed this skeletal of the system on of this um, system the skeletal system of this a section I will then and I feel like I've got it at a good point where I can start plopping in some CSS so I will do that for the next video and then here's the uh, so there's the closed div for the for the header and then I create another div for hero JB technologies and a little blurb about the site and then the sign up button and a picture and that's hero and again the whole thing is wrapped in a hero header dash hero dash wrapper um, because I'm sure I'm going to need to do something like that in a wrapper type setting um, down the road. So I'm just kind of thinking ahead a little bit. Again, some of this may change. I may change, I may add, I may change names. I may remove some divs. For right now, I just wanted to get some divs in place um, so I mentally could put some place markers there. So this is what it, again, this is what it will look like in the end. And this is what, so I've got my logo, I've got my two, three links. Um, I've got my my JB Technologies, and I've got my little blurb. There's my sign up button, and then I've got a place. I got an actual image where they said have a placeholder, and then this would be this section up here would be the header. This would be hero, and then this whole thing is the um, header hero wrapper. So here's what my actual page looks like so far. Again, no CSS. So there's my image. There's my links. JB Technologies, the little blurb, the image, the man holding laptop, and sign up button, which doesn't do nothing when you click it. Again, I don't think that's designed to do anything either. I didn't see anything in the um, instructions about that. So I think this is all about making making a good looking front landing page and making it look sexy is the whole point of it. So that's where it's at. So tomorrow or the next recording, probably tomorrow, uh, we're having a major st snowstorm right here right now. So I'll be snow plowing and blowing snow around for the rest of the evening so if I'm not too tuckered by that for tomorrow I will do um, work on the CSS for this section and when I feel like I got the CSS where it needs to be and it looks 
um, similar to to this part here I will post another video and go over that with you and then the next video will go over this section create it do HTML CSS do this section HTML and CSS and then this section HTML CSS and then the footer so that's how I'm gonna tackle it just elf as we talked about elephant is eaten one ear at a time so just focused on one section not really focused on anything else just um, step baby steps at a time so um, let me know uh, how you guys are getting it on getting along with this uh, this exercise this uh, project I'm excited to, to go on this journey with you and I hope you learned something today and had some had some fun and going back to basics of uh, creating the boilerplate file I actually had to go look up a few things and Google a few things because I kind of forgot some of it so especially when it comes to like creating the list items and some of the the nuanced stuff getting the alt text back in there making sure just making sure it looks good um, and how to do the boilerplate and all that so um, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet we'll end it now so uh, please like share and subscribe for more content and until next time see ya